बिस्मिल्लाम quote of the day to save the world to protect the tomorrow we have to control the population today and the topic of my presentation is demographic indicators and dependency ratio under kind supervision of professor dr saira afzal learning outline of my presentation is demography demographic indicators gender gap index dependency ratio recent advances and in the last there is the session of mcqs at the end of this presentation participants will be able to describe what is demography different indicators of demography dependency ratio and recent advances definition demography basically is the scientific study of human population which include the study of change in population composition of population and distribution of population in spaces demography is the scientific study of human population and it basically as uh, covers the different aspect of society Uh, in sizes it refers the total number of person in a given population distribution refers the arrangement of entire population in a given geographical area structure reflects the distribution of given population with respect to age and sex and in change there we see there is the increase or decrease in the size of given population and development refers the development of given population with respect to socio economic aspects there are five processes in demography fertility mortality marriage migration and social mobility there are different uh, demographic indicators we define uh, divide that indicators in two type uh in population stats and in vital stats in a population stats we can see about population size population density age and sex composition sex ratio and dependency ratio and in vital stats we can calculate the birth rate death rate growth rate life expectancy and birth and the mortality and fertility rate and how we Uh, gather the demographic data with the help of census vital event registers surveys and sample registration system first we discuss the population size population size is basically the number of population which live in a, a specific geographic area and pakistan population is equivalent to 2.83% of total world's population and the growth rate of uh, pakistan population in 2021 is almost 2.3% and according to the density uh, there is 292.13 square kilometer area and according to the Uh, rank wise population pakistan stands fifth in its number according to the uh, population number and density wise it is 48 in their rank is in 2021 density of population density of population is basically a ratio between total population and the surface land area which is occupied by that population this ratio can be calculated for any territorial unit for any point in time depending on the source of population data what is age and sex ratio age and sex ratio basically the percentage of sexes in different age groups in this diagram you can see the maroon color is for a female population and a blue color is for a male population and along x axis there is a different age groups and in y axis there is a number of population and that's the way in which we represent the percentages of different ages and sex in our population population pyramid population pyramid is a pictorial representation of age and sex composition of a population 
A population pyramid is also known as age and sex pyramid. It is a graphical illustration that show the distribution of various age group in a population typically of a country or region of a world and it forms the shape of a pyramid when the population is growing. And this is the population pyramid of a Pakistan. The age pyramid of Pakistan is typically of developing countries in which the base is broader and there is a tapering tip. While in developed countries, the population pyramid show bulge in the middle. Now comes the sex ratio. Sex ratio is defined as the number of females per thousand males. And we can calculate with the help of a formula in which number of females divided by number of females and multiply by thousand. It is one of the basic demographic characteristic. A low sex ratio indicates strong male child preference, consequent gender inequities and neglect of the female girl child resulting in higher mortality at younger age. Now comes the gender gap index. The gender gap index measures gender equality based on the relative gaps between women and men in over society. And there are four key areas in which we measure the gender gap index, health, education, economy, and the politics. And the report found that Pakistan gender gap index has widened day by day by 0.7 percent points and now it is 55.6 percent. And according to the rank wise, Pakistan is in 152 position in the economic participation of women and in 144 position in educational attainment of the women and 153 in health and survival rate of women and 93 in the political empowerment of the women. So there is a gender gap index in present within the Pakistan. Now comes the vital index. Vital index is a ratio of the number of life births and number of deaths during one year in a community. And vital index is basically a best demographic indicator for the community. And we can calculate vital index with the help of a formula, number of life births during one year divided by number of deaths during one year and multiply by 1000. If vital index is less than 100, then we say that the population is decreasing. And if the vital index of that community is more than 100, then we say that the population is increasing. And if vital index is equals to 100, then the population of that community is stable. Now comes the vital stats of demographic indicators. And first one is crude birth rate. The crude birth rate is defined as the number of live births occurring during one year and per thousand population estimated at mid-year. And it is calculated with the help of formula number of live births divided by mid-year population and multiplied by thousand. Now comes the crude death rate. Number of death occurring during the year per thousand population estimated at mid-year. And the formula for the calculation of crude death rate is the number of death during that year, mid-year population of that year, and multiply by 1,000. Now comes the growth rate. The crude death rate is subtracted from the crude birth rate. The net residual is the current annual growth rate, exclusive of migration. And in this a uh, graph you can see that the growth rate basically uh, tells about the doubling time of the population and what is doubling time a quantity growing according to a pure exponential growth equation double in a constant time manner there is a simple relationship between the rate of growth in percentage terms and a time it will take a quantity to double when the growth rate of your country uh, suppose less than uh, one, then there is a 72 years taken for the population to the double. And when the growth rate is two, then there are almost 36 years for the population 
for their doubling time and the pakistan growth rate is almost 2.03% so the pakistan population now take 36 year for their doubling time there are different categories of growth rate a uh, slow growth moderate growth rapid very rapid growth and explosive growth when the growth rate is of any country less than 0.5 then we say that there is a slow growth rate and in pakistan the growth rate is almost 2.03% so this will fall in explosive growth rate now comes the dependency ratio the dependency ratio is an age population ratio basically in dependency ratio there are two part in dependent part in in which two age categories are fall 0 to 14 years and above 65 years and the productive part in which the age groups include 15 to 64 years it is used to measure the pressure on the productive population the dependency ratio is essential for government economist banker businessman industries universities and all other major economic segments which can benefit from understanding the impact of change in population structure we can calculate the dependency ratio with the help of um, different formulas total dependency ratio in total dependency ratio we can Uh, we can calculate the population in zero to fourteen years and population above sixty-five years. And in denominator, there is a working age group population of fifteen to sixty-four years, and it is multiplied by hundred. And we can also calculate the child dependency ratio and old age dependency ratio separately. And for child dependency ratio, in the in the denominator we can only use the population of age group 0 to 14 years and in old age and when we calculate old age dependency ratio then in the denominator we can use the population of above 65 years and the denominator will remain same in which we can use the age group of population 15 to 64 years and multiply all these three with the 100 so that's how we can calculate the dependency ratio a low dependency ratio means that there are sufficient people working who can support the dependent population a low ratio could allow for better pension and better health care for citizen a higher ratio indicates more financial stress on working people and possible political instability so a low dependency ratio of any country is a good demographic indicator there are different strategies for decreasing dependency ratio we can promote immigration for younger people this will stimulate a higher economic growth because the working age population will grow in the number if more young adults migrate into their country the increase in the involvement of women in the workforce has contributed to the working age population encourage women to work will help decrease the dependency ratio because more women are getting higher education it is less likely for them to have children and causing the fertility rate of the community also decrease there are different terminologies which are used in the uh, dependency ratio demographic bonus and demographic burden when dependency ratio in a population decline because of decline in fertility then we say that there is a demographic bonus or advantage advantages and what is demographic burden increase in total dependency ratio during any period of time mostly caused by increase old age and number of children and dependent number of women then there is increase in the demographic burden and increased dependency ratio this is the pakistan dependency ratio 
and in this diagram you can see that the age group of 0 to 14 years in which children are come is the almost 56.27% and the working age group is only 36% and 7.45% are those people who are retired and about 65 years of age. Urbanization. There are a number of persons residing in urban localities. Urban areas are a town having 5,000 or more inhabitants, density of not less than 1,000 persons per square mile or 390 per square kilometer. At least three-fourths of the adult male population employed in other pursuit than agriculture. This, then we said that this is the urban locality. What are the causes of urbanization? Employment opportunities, attraction of better living condition, availability of social services like education, health, and transport. So that's why there is increase in the urbanization during last um, two, three eras. Now comes the literacy rate and education. Liter we can say that when uh, in a community, the person of age more than seven years when he, he or she can read or write and understand any one language then we say that this person is literate and we can calculate the literacy rate with the help of the formula crude literacy rate and effective literacy rate in crude literacy rate there are a number of literate person and total population in a given area multiply by thousand multiply by hundred and in effective literacy rate, there is a number of literate person age seven and above years divided by population age seven and above in a given year multiplied by 100. Now comes the life expectancy at birth. It reflects the overall mortality level of a population. It summarizes the mortality pattern that prevails across all age group children, adolescent, adults, and elderly. It is one of the best indicator of country development that how many year a person can live in. Now comes the mortality and fertility rate. There are different mortality and fertility rate like neonatal mortality rate, infant mortality rate, maternal mortality rate, case fertility rate and still birth ratio. And in fertility rate, there are general fertility rate, total fertility rate, age specific fertility rate, gross reproduction rate and net reproduction rate. I can only make a slide of the name of these parameters because in upcoming presentations, my different colleague will deliver the presentation on that topic. Now it's time for the recent updates. How does dependency ratio affects economic growth in a long run? There are evidence from selected Asian countries. It is one of the uh, articles in which they can highlight the issue. In developing countries, the number of youth age group is increased in the comparison of developed countries, where older age group is more. And in Asian countries, there are increase in working age group and Due to increase in the working age group, there are also increased the per capita income of country. So economic growth of Asian countries is increased in upcoming uh, in future because the working age group of that countries is increasing. So when you made a good policy for that working age group, then the, uh, then the uh, economy of the your country will boost up so this issue will highlight in this uh, article now it's time for the mcqs the growth pattern of population with an annual growth rate of 1 to 1.5 percent in the statement of growth of population lies in which category Slow growth, moderate growth, rapid growth, or explosive growth? B. A. 
uh, C is the uh, right answer, uh, rapid growth, because in slow growth, the growth rate of the uh, country is less than 0.5%. And when it is more than 0.5%, then it is moderate growth. And when the percentage falls between 1 to 1 1.5%, then it is rapid growth. In a survey of 20 families, the number of different age group are given uh, 0 to 14 years, uh, 20 person, 15 to 64 years, there are 60 person and above 65 years only 10% uh, in this survey. Calculate the total dependency ratio. Any guess? C. C. C is the right answer. 50. Because 0 to 14, there are 20 number and above 65 years, 10 number. So in the uh, denominator, 20 plus 10 equals to 30 divided by 60, which is equal to 0 0.5. And when it is multiplied by 100, so the answer is 50. In a survey of 20 families, there are different number of age group which are given below 0 to 14 years, 30 years, 15 to 64 years, 60 years and above 65 years, the number is 10. Calculate the child dependency ratio. D, uh, D is the right answer, D. 50. Because 30 divided by 60 equals to 0 0.5 and again multiply by 100. So the answer is 50 and we cannot use the 10 in this calculation because this uh, figure is above 65 years. D is the right answer, 50%. There is increase in gender discrimination in Pakistan and globally, the picture of Pakistan is worse in this aspect. Which demographic indicator is used for address this issue? Uh, gender gap index, sex ratio, dependency ratio, population size. A. A. A, gender gap index is right answer. In some uh, place, the size of population is more than 5,000 inhabitants and density of uh, population is 1,000 person per square mile. This locality is known as urban locality, rural locality, village, or a town. A. A is the right answer, urban. In 2021, the Pakistan shows the growth rate of 2.03%. What is the doubling time of Pakistan population according to current growth rate? 30 years, 32 years, 36 years, 38 years. C. C is the right answer, 36 years. In XYZ area, the dependency ratio is calculated by a survey team and the report show and that is 70%. What this figure show? For every 100 independent person, the 70 dependent person. For every 1000 independent person, the 70 dependent person. For every 10 independent person, the 70 dependent person. And for every 20 independent person, the 70 dependent person. A. A. A is the right answer for every 100 independent person, the 70 dependent person. At a given place, 50,000 male and a 1 lakh females. Calculate the sex ratio. Any guess? A. A. D is the right answer, 500, because 5,000 divided by uh, uh, number of males divided by number of females, the 50,000 divided by 1 lakh, answer is 0 0.5. And when 0 0.5 multiply by 1,000, then the answer is 500. 
in a survey of xyz community the number of life birth during one year is 3000 and number of life birth is 1000 calculate the vital index of that community any guess c is the right answer uh, 3000 because in vital index there are number of life birth during one year is 3000 divided by number of life uh, number of death uh, which is 1000 so 3000 divided by 1000 answer is 3 and it is multiplied by 1000 so the answer is 30,000. Conducting the survey in XYZ community and report show the vital index of that community is less than 100. How would you analyze the population of that community? Population is increasing, population is decreasing, population is stable or population is unstable? B. B is the right answer. Population is decreasing because vital index is less than 100. This is the key of MCQ's references of my presentation. And thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Naila. Very nice presentation. Especially you have uh, given a very holistic approach and uh, you have also told about the things that would be following your presentation. And uh, you have highlighted this point that some points are very much uh, uh, needs clarity and they would be in the next presentations. Now, however, one thing that I always and always looking forward is that uh, all your MCQs should be G Dr. Naila, kya hona chahiye? Um, they C should be C3 level. Scenario based, yes. They should be scenario based at least at the level of C3. Uh, again, I would stress this point that uh, your MCQs were at, at C1 and C2 level and uh, most of the things that you were presented, it was only based on recall. Like whether it is increasing, decreasing, what is uh, the figure that is uh, there. So all these terms, definitions, they come under C1 and C2, not at C3. So I would like to request again and again, please make this a point that all your MCQs should be concept based, it should be scenario based, and it should be at uh, at least C3 level, and that is the application. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz, ma'am.